Hey guys, so we have a family barbecue coming up. So the unskilled barbecuer dragged out our barbecue and for an inspection and it failed the inspection. This is a fairly standard type of barbecue that's really common in Japan. This one's really, really old and got to the point where <laughs> there's more hole than barbecue. So all the hot bits would be falling out the bottom. So it's no longer feasible. So that went in the recycling box with the other recycling metal. So off to the home center to inspect the barbecue options. So there's usually, as with most things mentioned in a recent video, there's usually only two or three of anything that you want to buy in Japan that's sort of the standard. So there's your smallest, or not the smallest, but there's an option, $2,400, it's about $24. There's a slightly bigger one for $35. Now we've got quite a large extended family. So we sort of need a larger one. So that one's $45. So in this home center, that's the biggest option. And that would be fairly standard for a big family. That's probably what you'd see. Probably the middle one probably would be the most common. But in our case, for an extra $10, the thinking was, let's get the bigger one because we've got a fairly big family. We cook seafood and meat and all sorts of things at the same time. So there's wood available, but it's not real popular, not real common to cook on wood. More common than that is to cook on charcoal. So they've got these big boxes of charcoal here. 10 kilo box is about $25. The little 6 kilo box is about $9. There's the 10 kilo, we'll go with that. It's actually $25 for the 10 kilo. And then they've got this range of stuff. So a few things here that are popular, that's a uh, fire starter, it's a gel, and there's other gas bottle things, and these little lighters are really cool, we use those for fireworks too, and of course gloves, you can't do anything in Japan without the appropriate glove, and other assorted little accessories there, but we pretty much don't need any of that, this is just for entertainment value, oh, octopus ball making thing, <laughs> so... You can heat that thing up and make octopus balls. This gas stove thing's popular too. We'll show you something about that a little bit later. But they are quite popular. Some people like them or prefer them. So again, that's what we're already looking at, those three up there. And there's a different one up here for $50 for this little one. I don't know why it's expensive. It's only a little one. But they're, they're common too. You quite often see people crouched outside their little house with one of these little ones making a cooking a small thing a few other options there too oh yeah hot sandwich maker toasted sandwich maker so don't need any of that really just need the barbecue and a box of charcoal so there's the barbecue went with that one $45 money well spent we'll get Get years, a few years value out of that. So the unskilled barbecue is going to put that together. It's really simple. It's just four legs. Interestingly though, they actually have the legs are actually in segments. So if you want to, you can put the barbecue on the ground. Pretty much on the ground, just like that. Or you can use one segment, have it just slightly off the ground, or you can use all the segments and have it about a meter off the ground. Which we find is works best for us to have it the full leg thing going on, have it about a meter off the ground, it's just about right. Put the handles either end. And that's about it. So it's fairly simple, as you can see. And then this one actually came with the, the little grills or with the plate. We decided we don't really use the plate. The plate can be used for things like uh, fried noodles and things like that. So usually people in Japan use fire starters and that gel we showed you before. We don't really need that. We've got some old paper and we've got all the sticks that fall on the ground in our garden. So we grab some of those. And then we've got lots of cut off cuts of wood from previous projects by the unskilled laborer so we grab some of them and then just put some coal on top of that no need for accelerants 
we don't reckon and then use our lighter that's got the long thing these things these things are great for lighting it and also we use those for fireworks as well so we don't burn our little fingers fire that up So this particular day was pouring with rain, but some of you remember the old side of the old farmhouse has a covered area that, that doesn't really matter if it's raining or not, we can still have our barbecue. So pouring with rain, but we fired this up about an hour before the the rallies were due to arrive. Busloads of relatives due to arrive. <laughs> Off we go. Get that burning. Isn't that a good flame? It's a nice coloured flame, isn't it? And then just stoke it up with some charcoal. So this is the most common. There are different people do different things, of course, in Japan. But the most common, if you see Jap people in Japan having a barbecue, this is pretty much exactly what it'll look like. It'll be that style of, of appliance. And they'll be using charcoal. So yeah, let the charcoal burn down a bit. Oh, I thought you might be interested in this. This is a barbecue plate. Hey, look at this. So see the little grooves on the left-hand side there? So that you can use this. I've actually got it the wrong way around. You're supposed to hold it the other way around. But you put your chopsticks there. And then you put your cup there. And you can put, see where the holes are? You can put like a fork or a spoon or something in there. This is a pretty cool little barbecue device, isn't it? So there we are. That looks like that thing on the box, doesn't it? <laughs> the illustration on the box looks just like that with the glowing coals. So what do we got there? We got some uh, squid and some uh, shellfish and some uh, uh, harumaki, which is uh, meat with rice in the middle. That's actually cartilage. That's cartilage, like between joints. Oh, this is an interesting thing. There's a gas barbecue. This guy's got hormone burning on here, which is intestines. So he does it on gas so he can set the temperature the way he wants it. So anyway, that was a Japanese barbecue. Hope somebody enjoyed that. More videos coming soon.